the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. It is telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembered. Sometimes feel like Mission Impossible. Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show every time this week with a tip to help you tell your story. Jerry, welcome back. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, actually, it's a series of tips this week about writer's block, which if you do any writing at all, a little bit or a lot, at some point you've probably experienced writer's block. Um, and, you know, it's pretty understandable. I, you, you've, uh, you've heard my Gene Fowler quote before that writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. So yeah, it's, it's, it's not work. a green image, Ed, yeah, but, but I it know. does take work. It does. And so anything that takes work is easy sometimes to get stalled on. And you know, the problem, of course, is that you're sitting there with all those beads of, of blood on your forehead and you're still stuck. So now what do you do? And really... The first thing I think you need to do is kind of talk to yourself a little bit in your head and listen to that voice that tells you what's going on, why it is you can't write. And you have to not rationalize. You have to be honest with yourself. But it falls into several categories. One is you may just not be ready to write. You may not have done all of the research you need to do. You don't know what the answers are to the who, what, where, when, and why of your story. And then well, we I got a great title. Exactly, but uh, you got to do the rest. And so in that case, writer's block is actually your friend because it's telling you to go do some more research. But, you know, sometimes you've done that research and you know what you want to say, but you're still a little blocked. And it may just be that you need to let it sit for a little bit. Um, maybe you need to be rested. Like I do my best writing early in the morning. If I get too tired, it doesn't matter how long I stare at that mm. blank sheet of paper. Nothing's going to happen, and I need to recognize that and walk away from the keyboard. Another reason why, um, y you know, you may have a uh, writer's block uh, is that you don't know what it is you want to say. Um, and then I really suggest you basically start talking. If you've got somebody you can like, talk it through I was going to say, like, talk out loud. Like. Absolutely. And, and if you've got somebody who can listen that you can bounce that off of, then talk to them. But sometimes it's talking to yourself. Like but, crazy people. Yeah, exactly like crazy people. Um, in fact, I used to walk around my office at the phone company all the time when I was writing speeches, talking to myself because I was trying to figure out what I was going to put next on the piece of paper. Well, and that makes a lot of sense because some of your past tips on writing was how does it sound. Right. And so having having that verbal communication with yourself is, is a big piece of it. Well, and most of us have don't have speaker's block unless we're in front of an audience or a <laughs> camera. But, um, right. uh, and, and here's the thing, you know, I often will get clients who will give me something that they have written and they're trying to, f you know, figure out you know, whether they need some editing help or whatever. And I, I'll talk, talk to them and say, so what is it exactly you're trying to say? And they'll explain to me something that's quite different than what they've put on paper. Oh. So, uh, and I just tell them, you know, Okay, that's what you want to say. Yeah. And, and really, um, uh, you know, the other one is, uh, the other tip I'll give here, by the way, this is, there's a lot, much longer article on this on my blog this week, because usually I put some sort of companion article there. Right, and that blog is jerrybrownpr.com. That's correct. It, there is so much on writer's blog that this, there's a lot on there that's not, that we're not going to be able to talk about today. But the final thing I like to talk about today is really that sometimes you just need help. Amen. Yeah, and I, I know that's a... You know, shameless plug for what I do, but it really, you know, it, it is sometimes you need to do it. And then my example is, you know, I have worked with enough graphic designers over the years, and I've read enough books on design and things like that, that I can do simple layout and design work. But you know what? Uh, for the complicated stuff, I won't even try it. And even the simple stuff, a professional designer is going to do a better job than I will. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not any different with writing. I mean, sometimes you need to tell a story in a way that's just complicated enough that you may not have the writing skill to do it, in which case, you know, you're probably better you off getting somebody else to help you. need that outside opinion. Have you ever, you know, done a missing word search and, and you get somebody else's set of eyes in there oh, yeah. and Absolutely. you couldn't see it at all and they come in and it's instant. That's what Jerry Brown will definitely do for you. Jerry Brown PR, he says, the late journalist and screenwriter and Denver native Gene Fowler said that writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood 
form on your forehead. Well, we're going to keep your forehead dry. I hope so. Hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR. He'll help you write your blog posts, your social media postings, articles, press releases, power presentations, and more. And also, he can help you edit something you've already written. You know, the list goes on and on. You can reach Jerry at Jerry at JerryBrownPR.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303 303- Five nine four eight zero one six. Wow. Jerry Brown PR. Yes. I it like rolls it. off my tongue. It kind of does. I, yeah, you might as well just call him King Midas. I mean, everything he touches turns to gold. Turns we love that. to gold. And I love how he says, you never get speaker's block. Right. You know, we can just ramble and ramble. Uh, for unless a long, you're in front time. of a microphone. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.